Hi greetings, so I'm back again with another video on indigenous bookkeeping and I'm going to be continuing basically on the principles I was telling you about in the video before this. So I'm going to name them for you, explain them briefly for you because it's not really important for you to know their exact meanings as of yet. It's not really of importance right now because it's not part of this topic exactly. If you understand what I'm saying, it's not exactly an intricate, a very important part of the topic, but it's very important for you to know in general because you're going to meet it in depth in grade 11, 12, and so on, right? So you've probably already gone through these before, but just for recap, the generally accepted um, accounting principles that are common are the five that I'm about to introduce slash remind you of, right? So if you look at my board, the first one we have is the materiality concept, right? So this one refers to the fact that the business should only consider information that is material when preparing financial statements. When we speak of something that is material, we talk about things that are relevant, important, um, that should be included, right? So the business, so materiality basically says when you see a transaction, or you see something is going on, consider its importance, its materiality, its, um, its importance, yes, when it comes to the, the gathering of financial statements, right? Then, the next one is the historical cost principle, and this basically speaks to when a business acquires assets. They should always be recorded at the cost price, right? Not at their depreciated price or their appreciated price. Um, you should already know about depreciation. Now we'll start with that in grade eight. So, you know, so not at their price after depreciation, before depreciation, after appreciation, before appreciation, all of that stuff, but basically recorded at its historical cost. Then the next one is going concern. This one says that we should always prepare the financial statements of a business under the assumption that it is a going concern or under the assumption that it will continue to operate for the next however many years. It will be, it'll be operated, basically we should create the financial statements under the assumption that it will be operational in the next financial period, right? So yeah, you can't just assume that we'll be out of business next year you must create them you must put the accounting financial statements in such a way that it shows that you are aware of the fact that the business is a going concern matching principle says that you should be able to identify an expense identify what a specific transaction is and put it at the right place so matching it's quite straightforward then prudence, right? I don't know if you ever heard anyone tell you to be prudent. It's basically not to overestimate. So to be reserved, not reserved, but to sort of slightly underestimate what could result in the sense that it's better to underestimate than to overestimate and be disappointed. So it's better to underestimate or to be cautious and be prudent and be surprised when you get higher results or higher revenue than to overestimate and be disappointed. So prudence basically means be as cautious as possible, right? And don't overestimate what you could get as a, as a return or what could result, right? So basically that's about what you need to know in terms of the generally accepted accounting principles these are the five key five most important five they're the biggest ones and it's very important for you to know that these things are going to affect your financial statements in the future materiality is going to show up and you're going to have to decide the importance of a transaction to be included in your financial statements historical cost is going to show up when you're creating an asset uh, registry and you need to say that you need to record how many assets are there and at what price when you're creating the PPE, uh, property plant and equipment, you'll get to that. And going concern will be important in terms of what must happen with payments that we haven't received yet or debts we haven't gotten back yet that we need to 
um, received from debtors or payments we need to make next year that we haven't made yet. We have to make a trans, we have to create an entry that accommodates that this will happen in the near future. Matching will come up when you get a transaction, you see it or an adjustment and you need to know, to know where to put that transaction. Prudence will come in when they're saying, maybe most commonly in the case of a bad debt or a bad debt, yeah, a bad debt, right? So knowing that this is not the time to overestimate our returns and what we could get back. And so this is basically just a brief, a brief um, overview of generally accepted accounting principles. There's no need for you to know it as intensely, as deeply. It's quite straightforward, quite simple for this year. And that's all you need to know. So yeah, in the next video, I'm going to be showing you how we calculate the cost price because it is bookkeeping. So obviously, apart from the principle as to how things should go, there's also the aspect of the calculations, the aspect of knowing how to get your specific amounts and so that's what i'm going to show you in the next and last video and it's going to be it's going to be fun it's going to be easy yeah so i hope this video helped you thank you for watching bye